We are planning a, a, a demonstration where we are proposing to arm demonstrators. Uh, on Sunday, 29th May, we, we sent a notice to the police informing them of our intention to demonstrate uh, on June 4th, from June 4th. Our hope was that from June 4th going, we'd have a three-day sit-in demonstration. So for three days, we are, picket, we are picketing on the forecourt of, of the Flagstaff House, as was done for Occupy Flagstaff House, where people were allowed access to the lawns of, of, of that. Now, in doing so, we are mindful and we know the fact that every time crowds come together, and we are seeing that peaceful demonstrators, the police continue to deploy uh, persons with live ammunition and shooting them. And we are telling the police that the flagrant use of weapons and violence in this manner is what is terrorizing citizens. One of the conversation points we want to have with them is that if they're comfortable, we want to organize for a private security company to provide our own security. We do not want the state to be involved in that process. In doing so, we are drawing the attention to the fact that if they continue to use violence this way, persons who are going on demonstration to exercise their civic rights under the Constitution might start to think about ways to seek private companies to provide them protection. We are doing this intentionally to prick their conscience because ours, our form of advocacy is a visual advocacy. Now, this letter, we, we had it a long time ago, and the reason why I said that they're using it to def divert attention is that they responded to us long ago. And our lawyers were sending them a legal response. Now, the reason why I said that this is fake news is that we sent them a notice where there were three organizers for the demonstration, and I was listed as lawyer and lawyer for the organizers. Okay? Now, when they then say it, they say four organizers, and that's why I said fake news. But there's, intentional, there's an intentional element of trying to create the impression that obviously these people are committed to coup. And I've made it very clear that this is not our intention. We want for you and everybody else to see the, the, where our democracy is going, that we excuse violence from the state.